Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Forge Ontario Go for the Gold 2020 Provincial Competitions. I would like to thank our sponsor, Ontario Mutuals, who has gener generously supported this competition for many years, and we appreciate their support. At this time, I would like to ask John Taylor, current president and CEO of Ontario Mutuals, to bring greetings to the call. Thank you. Um, good morning, everyone. John Taylor uh, here from Ontario Mutuals. It's my pleasure to be able to take part in the uh, provincial finals this morning. This is an event that we look forward to uh, at Ontario Mutuals uh, all year. And although 2020 is clearly a different year for everyone, everyone has had to adapt and it's, uh, we're delighted to know that, uh, as we would expect, our 4-Hers have uh, also uh, adapted and have been able to um, uh, carry on and get through a, a Go for the Gold competition, uh, even in a virtual uh, format, and we'll be able to still take part in the Royal Winter Fair, um, again, even though it's uh, virtual. Our uh, Ontario Mutuals are from across Ontario. Uh, there's about 38 small town farm mutuals. Uh, that uh, all band together to help uh, sponsor a number of 4-H programs and the, the one that we uh, uh, probably have been affiliated with the longest has been the Go for the Gold. So I look forward to all you guys answering some really tough questions uh, this morning in a good lively competition. So good luck, uh, good luck to everyone and thanks again for uh, inviting us to participate this morning. John, thank you and thank you for taking time out uh, today to join us. So Go for the Golds uh, is a provincial competition today and it's going to consist of one game. The game will include 75 questions and those questions will be a combination of multiple choice, short answer and true and false. And just keep in mind your short answers are only one word answers. All the questions today are taken out of 4-H projects that are listed in the Go for the Gold handbook. The game is played independently by the 4-H members, so we just ask that any helpers you have in the same room, just answer to yourself and let the players answer on their own. Each question has 30 seconds to answer. If a member cannot answer the question in 30 seconds, you will lose your turn. Teams were eligible to enter five players today. However, the top four scores will be calculated to determine the top team at the end of the competition. You will see two screens for the competition today. The first one will appear with the questions on it, and then you will have a second device where you will input your answer. So for the sample question in front of you, it is who is the Executive Director of Forage Ontario? If you think it's Christine Oldfield, then you would type or push the uh, red triangle on your second device. You will see on the screen there's a 17, that is your timer. And that's what you'll need to pay attention to as you only have 30 seconds for each question. You are given scores on two different variables. The first one is if you answer the question correctly, but also how quickly you answer the question. As you see in this example, the top two members both answered all 10 questions correctly. However, Olivia was able to answer them quicker and therefore received more points. So please keep that in mind as we're playing today. Are there any questions? Great, we'll let the games begin. If everyone is ready, we will begin our 2020 Provincial Go for the Gold competition. Good luck. True or false, a chicken drinks twice as much as it eats every day. Answer is true. Question two, within the dairy industry, when an animal is born without blank, it is naturally pulled. One word answer.
correct answer was horns. Question three. Sanitation is the second most important method to control disease within a pig barn. Is that true or false? Answer is false. Sanitation is the number one practice to control sanitation. Question four. What is a term used when the protection of a swine herd from the introduction of infectious agents is taking place? Is it called pig trace, traceability, liability, or biosecurity? Biosecurity is the correct answer. Question five. Pollination begins when a pollinator transfers a pollen grain from a flower anther to another fallen stigma. Answer is true. Question six. What is it called when the vegetation is plunged into boiling water, removed and plunged into ice cold water to halt cooking? Is it known as blanching, hydrating, broiling or poaching? Answer is blanching. Question seven. Minister Hardiman is the Ontario Minister of Agriculture, Food and Rural Affairs. What is his first name? Some good choices. We were looking for Ernie. Good job. Question eight, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin in 1928. Answer is true. Question nine, what is the female organs of a flower called Compri comprising of a stigma, the style, and the ovary? Is it the pulps, the stamen, the pistil, or the nectar? We are looking for pistil. Question 10. What is the eligible age to participate at Forage Ontario Discovery Days? Is it ages 7 to 11, 6 to 12, 8 to 10, or 6 to 8 years old? Answer is 6 to 12 years old. Question 11. When operating a tractor, there are three rules. Be aware, be alert, and be blank. All good choices, but we are looking for be safe. All right, question 12. What type of cropping is done by tilling and planting across a slope rather than with the slope to reduce erosion? One word answer. All right, time is up, let's see.
correct answer was contour. Question 13, what type of bread is leavened with chemical leaveners such as baking powder and cream of tartar rather than, rather than yeast? One word answer. All right, time is up. Some good choices. We were looking for a quick bread, that is right. Question 14, pH is the measure of acidity or alkalinity of a solution. What is the pH of a neutral solution? Is it 50, zero, seven or 21? Correct answer is seven. All right, question 15. New Holland was created by a merger between Ford New Holland and who? Gleaner, Case International, Vetragon, or Fiat Agri? Fiat Agri is the correct answer. All right, question 16, true or false? Conventional breeding and selective breeding are different methods to produce plants and animals. Is that true or false? That is indeed false. Question 17, who is the current president of the Ford Ontario Council? Is it Cheryl Sullivan, John Drummond, Dennis Carnegie, or Christine Oldfield? And the correct answer is Cheryl Sullivan. Question 18, what tractor system is responsible for supplying fuel under high pressure at the right time to cylinders for combustion? Is that the injector, sorry, the injection system, the electrical system, the intake system, or the exhaust system? And we were looking for the injection system. Question 19, true or false? In 2019, there were more beef forage members than dairy forage members in Ontario. Answer is false. That's right, there were more dairy. Question 20, type an answer. What are you making with dish soap, glycerol, and water? One word answer. All right, time is up. Let's see what we came up with. Answer is bubbles, yes. From the Focus on Fun for each project. Question 21. There are two types of tillage, primary and secondary. Which does a disc, cultivator, and heralds belong to?
All right, those are your two options. Which one is correct? Secondary is the correct answer. All right, question 22. A hectare, hectare is an area that is 10,000 square meters. That is true. All right, question 23. The activity, Big Game Hunter, is similar to photography scavenger hunt. Is that true or false? Answer is true. All right, question 24. What is a tableau? Is it the French word for table, the name of a Japanese dessert, types of clouds, or a frozen scene? A frozen scene, well done. Question 25. What part of a plow cuts through trash residue and provides a uniform width of cut to open the soil ahead of the moldboard? Is it the wing, the coulter, the shin, or the frog? And the correct answer is coulter. Question 26, true or false, dogs have a complex system for communicating. And true was the correct answer there. Question 27, a rabbit's breeding program involves choosing a buck and a doe based on their pedigree and production. That question is actually false. All right, question 28. What pet pest is shown here? Is that a tick, a mite, a flea, or a lice? And that is a flea. Question 29. Which forage opportunity is open to youth ages 16 to 19? Is it Provincial Leadership Camp, Future Leaders in Action, Dairy Sense, or Ignite Your Career? And the correct answer is Future Leaders in Action. Question 30. What is the unknown body part of the worker bee shown in this picture? Is it the pulp? the chest, the thorax, or the hull tree? And the correct answer was the thorax. Questions 31. What part of the tractor selects various speeds and reverses the direction of travel? Is it the PTO shaft, the axle, the transmission, or the engine? And the transmission is correct. Question 32. Which sailor knot is shown here? Is that the overhand knot, the granny knot, the double half hitch knot, or the bowline knot? And the correct answer was granny knot. Okay, question 33. Along with rumination, there's a second process that helps herbivores digest cellulose. What is that process called? Is it digestion, fermentation, deliberation, or agitation?
And the correct answer is fermentation. Question 34. What is the name of a Japanese game that is an advanced form of tic-tac-toe and connect for shown here? Is it Tatimi, Suba, Gohan, or Gamaku? And correct answer was Gamaku. Question 35. What dog group does a Chihuahua belong to? Sporting dogs, herding dogs, toy dogs, or tiny dogs? Correct answer is toy dogs. All right, question 36. What percentage does feed cost represent when producing broiler birds? Is it 50%, 25%, less than 10%, or 75%? Answer is 50%. Question 37, what age is a medium-sized buck rabbit ready to breed at? 12 months, five months, nine months, or seven months? Answer is seven months. Question 38, true or false, the intake system on a tractor supplies the engine with clean air. Is that true or false? Answer is true. Question 39. What was the first genetically engineered crop approved in Canada? Sorry, when was it? Was it in 2018, 1969, 1994, or 2001? Correct answer is 1994. Question 40. Where in your body is the greenish yellow liquid called bile secreted from? One word answer. All right, let's see. Oh, good answers, good. We were looking for the liver. All right, question 41. What universal symbol is shown here that could be found in a tractor? Is that the oil pressure, low fuel, engine water temperature, or battery charge? Oil pressure is the correct answer. Question 42. What are newborn rabbits referred to as? Please type your answer in plural, single word. All right, good guesses there. The correct answer is kits. Question 43, what is a cockerel? Is it a male chicken less than 20 months of age? Is it a male goose, a male duck, or a female chicken more than 19 weeks old?
correct answer is a male chicken less than 12 months of age. Question 44. Japan is covered in 71% what? Water, grass, buildings, or mountains? Correct answer is mountains. Question 45. A positive pressure ventilation system uses fans to force air into the barn and air escapes through ventilation openings. Is that true or false? Answer is true for that one. Question 46. What is the third life stage of the house fly? Is it adult, egg, larva, or pupa? Answer is pupa. Question 47, unscramble this word. A chicken of either sex, older than 10 weeks old, grown for a large meat bird. All right, let's see. Roaster, that's correct. Question 48, true or false? Water accounts for less than half of a bird's body weight. Is that true or false? Answer is false. Question 49, when digestion occurs, food is broken down in one of two ways. Is that true or false? That is true. Question 50, when do puppies develop their primary social attachment? Is that at one month, six to 10 weeks, 12 to 15 weeks or two months? Six to 10 weeks is correct. Question 51. When doing chores in a swine barn, it's best to feed, water, and clean animals that are the youngest to the sickest to the oldest. Is that true or false? That is false. Question 52. DNA is made of four nucleic acids. Which of the following is not one of the four? Thiamine, cytosine, adenine, or uracil? Answer is uracil. Correct. Question 53, on a plowing scoreboard, which has the highest value? Is it the finish, the crown, the split, or general appearance? And general appearance is correct. Question 54. In the stigma of the flower, a part of the stamen or the pistil? Is the stigma on the flower a part of the stamen or the pistil? Sorry.
All right. So it was indeed the pistol. All right, question 55. What is an alkaline that when combined with an acid creates carbon dioxide bubbles giving rise to dough and batter? Is that yeast, baking soda, cream of tartar, or baking powder? And we were looking for baking soda for that answer. Question 56, fudge and pralines are heated to the soft ball stage when being made. What is the temperature range at this stage? So 200 to 215 degrees Fahrenheit, 250 to 260 degrees Fahrenheit, 235 to 240 degrees Fahrenheit, or 275 to 295 degrees Fahrenheit? And the correct answer is 235 to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, 57. How many joints are in a wasp leg? All right, let's see here. We were looking for six. Question 58. What part of the horse's digestive system is known, is shown with the red arrow? Is that the esophagus, the small intestine, the large intestine, or the rumen? And that was the small intestine. All right, question 59. In 2019, which region within Forage, Ontario, had the highest enrollment for members? All right, so we're looking for regions and region two as the correct. Okay, question 60. What is known as mating unrelated rabbits of the same breed? Is it known as inbreeding, crossbreeding, line breeding, or outcrossing? And the correct answer is outcrossing. All right, question 61. How far away should an isolation area be from the main barn? At least 900 feet, at least 500 feet, at least 100 feet, or at least 700 feet? And the answer is at least 900 feet. Sixty-two. A dog can pants up to two hundred pants per minute. True or false? That is indeed true. All right, sixty-three. On Boys' Day in Japan on May fifth, what is on display in front of every house where a boy lives? One word answer.
All right, time's up. Let's see some of the guesses. Good choices. Yep, we're looking for a kite. Question 64. What activity in the Focus on Fun 4-H project includes a potato and a potato peeler? Is it spud fun, deal and peel, kitchen patrol, or rifle range? And correct answer was kitchen patrol. Sixty-five. How many permanent teeth does an adult dog have? Fifty, forty-two, twenty-four, or thirty? And correct answer is forty-two. Question 66, which year did Japan bomb Pearl Harbor? Is it 1961, 1901, 1941, or 1921? Answer is 1941. Question 67, after returning from a livestock show, how long should you keep Show animals away from the rest of the herd. Is that for a day, at least two weeks, a month, or a week? And the correct answer is a month. Question 68. What does the S in GPS stand for? Does it mean setup, strategy, system, or standby? Good job, everyone. Excellent. Yes, system is correct. Question 69. What are you doing to food when you dry it, freeze it, can it, pickle it, smoke it, or cure it? One word answer. Or is that your preserve it? Exactly. Question 70. What is the gestation period of a goat? 91 days. Six, sorry, of a rabbit. Sorry. 91 days, 61 days, 31 days, or 121 days? Thirty-one days is correct. Question seventy-one: What is the unknown component of the diesel fuel system shown here? Is that the crankshaft, the injectors, the pistons, or the bearings? Those were the injectors, correct? All right, question 72. There are currently nine dog groups recognized by the Canadian Kennel Club. Is that true or false? Answer is false. Question 73. How many countries in the world offer a 4-H program? Is that 70, 10, 30, or 50? Correct answer is 70. All right, 74. Japan has the world's largest fishing industry. Is that true or false? That is indeed true. All right, I think we're down to our last question here. 
Who is the current sponsor of the Forge Ontario Arbor Award? Is it Bear Canada, Pioneer Hybrid, Syngenta, or the Monsanto Company? The correct answer is bear. All right, great job, everyone. So Jacob, you end up in third place. Amy, you finished in second. Very closely to first place winner, Hamish. So congratulations. Fourth was Claire and Mary, you end up in fifth. So congratulations. Those are the top individual scores. However, we, this is a group competition. So I'll let my scorekeepers work their magic and they will come back to us shortly with uh, the results. In the meantime, we have some special guests joining the call today. Uh, first, we have Christine Oldfield, the Executive Director of Forge Ontario. And Christine, if you just wanna unmute your line and uh, bring some greetings on behalf of Forge Ontario to the group today. Sure. Uh, first of all, I've been I've been on the line for a bit while watching this, and um, I'm very impressed. This is uh, th those questions aren't all easy, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so yeah, in terms of greetings, I just wanted to say that in March, I don't think anyone would have guessed that we we would be making 4-H history today by through the first virtual Go for the Goal competition. And I'm so excited to be here with you today and to celebrate this, really this great achievement. Congratulations to all the teams who have taken a part in local, regional, and now provincial competitions. And a special thank you to Ontario Mutuals for supporting this event and for being such great champions of 4-H, always and in particular in this difficult year of 2020. Competitions such as Go for the Gold are a core part of what we do at 4-H because through Go for the Gold, we can learn such things as teamwork, goal setting, playing by the rules, following through on a commitment, and also it teaches us to step out of our comfort zone. And normally we'd be gathering at the Royal Agriculture Winter Fair and I hope that we will again sometime in the future. Um, but I wanna commend each and every one of the youth and volunteers who helped to continue the Go for the Goal competition. Things may be a little different, but the reason that we do these things remains the same. So again, congratulations to everyone and best of luck today. Thank you, Christine. And I hope you did enjoy your first uh, Go For The Goal experience. Thank I got a couple questions right. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right, next up, I'm delighted to have Caitlin Cobe, a 4-H member in Peel County and one of our 4-H Ontario ambassadors who is gonna join us uh, here now. Caitlin, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go and ahead, if you'd like to share some greetings. One sec. Can everyone see me? I think I have my camera on. Okay. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Caitlin Kolb, and I am one of six 4-H Ontario ambassadors this year. Um, I wanted to congratulate everyone for making it here today. This is an awesome experience, even though it is a little bit different. It's still super fun and fun to have some competition. Um, I wanted to let everyone know that um, the 4-H Ontario Ambassador Program is a great program, and if you do ever have the opportunity to apply for it, I would highly recommend it. As a 4-H Ontario Ambassador, we get to represent 4-H Ontario at different events throughout the province for our year. This year obviously looks a little bit different for us because we aren't really able to go out and be at a lot of activities, but we are getting to do a bunch of other things like over Zoom getting to interview people and attend events like this. So that's still a lot of fun. And yeah, I would recommend it to a lot to you if you have the opportunity and good luck to everyone today. Thanks, Caitlin, and thanks for joining us. That's great. All right, next up, um, I'm very pleased to have Lindsay Bennington. She is the manager of agriculture and food at the Rural Agriculture Winter Fair, another generous sponsor of our Go For The Gold program. And we just want to invite Lindsay to come on today and just share a few words and updates from the Royal. Lindsay, I think you're on mute. Uh, 
Lindsay was on the call earlier. I see her on the call, but I, oh, and she doesn't appear to be on mute, but we can't, I can't hear her anyway. I can't hear her either. Let's see if I can help her out. Hello? Do you hear me now? She is. <laughs> I'm good now? You good. Go ahead, Lindsay. Okay. <laughs> Leave it to me to have the tech issues. <laughs> All right. So as Catherine said, I'm Lindsay Bevington, the manager of agriculture and food at the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair. So thank you so much for inviting me today. And I want to extend a congratulations to all of the members and the, the coaches that have participated today and throughout the Go for the Gold program all year. It's definitely been very strange in 2020 but it's in these times that the resiliency of 4-Hers has really shone through and it's never been a better time to learn to do by doing together. Um, so although we do truly wish that we were able to host the provincial competition in person as we normally would at the Royal, we are very excited that we are able to join today and then also be able to feature the video on our Royal Agricultural Virtual Experience. Um, so at the Royal, we've also had to pivot from our normal and we're just working to finalize the last final details for our Royal Agricultural vir Virtual Experience, which is going to feature many agricultural education components. And we're hoping that it'll be able to give you a bit of a taste of the Royal from the comfort and safety of your own home. So there's actually five different pavilions, we call them within the experience. So we've got our Royal Pavilion presented by Ontario Toyota dealers, our Agriculture Zone presented by Dairy Farmers of Ontario, our Grow Your Skills Pavilion presented by RBC Future Launch, a place to grow um, presented by University of Guelph, and our Spotlight on Local presented by Metro. So within each of these pavilions, there will be on-demand content, new uploads every day. There will be some live features. Um, and you can do a, a cooking class and follow along with a famous chef. You can uh, look back at some of our champions from the past as we um, do our champions showdown, a bracket style feature that will end up in crowning an ultimate supreme champion on the final day of the virtual experience. There's some equine information and breaking down the rounds um, with some really great um, interview panels there as well. So this is going to be a free event. It will run from November 10th to 14th. And as I said, new stuff every day. So we do want to encourage you guys to check it out. And we will be partnering in that with 4-H Ontario. So we're really excited to have them on board as they typically would be at our traditional fair. Um, so definitely a lot of really cool stuff for you guys to come and engage with every day. So if you visit our website, www.royalfair.org, the top banner encourages you to register for the experience. So we're trying to push everybody to do that so that you'll get all the email updates and you won't miss any of the exciting content that will come to you in November. So in closing, thank you again so much for inviting me here today. Congratulations to everybody. And I hope that I get to virtually engage with you in November. So our scorekeepers were um, members of the programming team with me at Forge Ontario. We had Marianne Fallis and Elizabeth Johnson. Um, and so thank you ladies for your help today. They were controlling the chat lines um, and prepared for any technical difficulties. So I appreciate their support in the background today. Um, Elizabeth, I see you're on. If you two want to take it away, we are ready. Yeah, well, I just uh, first of all, I want to start by congratulating everyone. The, the scores were, were very close. And so congratulations to each of you. You can tell that, that uh, you came today and you were prepared and, and ready to go. Um, we also want to thank Ontario Mutuals and the uh, Royal Agriculture Winter Fair for this this experience. We know it's it's not the, quite the same experience as it's been in the past, but it's it's always a, a great experience. And uh, we want to thank all of you as 4-H members for participating today in our, our virtual Go for the Gold. So 
I know everyone is is waiting, uh, anticipating the results, so I won't keep you uh, waiting any longer. So as I said, congratulations to, to everyone for participating in this event. In fifth place today, um, we have from Gray County, uh, Region 5. In uh, fourth place, we have Region 3. And uh, uh, with uh, from from region competing from region three was Peterborough. In uh, third place, we have region six from Oxford County. In second place, we have region four from Wellington County. And your 2020 Go for the Gold champions this year. Hail from Stormont County in Region 2. So congratulations to everyone for your participation today. Fantastic. Congratulations, everyone. Um, even though we're at home, that was still pretty exciting to watch throughout. Um, and it wasn't until you put the scores together, you, you really didn't know who was going to finish where so thank you everyone um thanks for all the coaches parents members um we got through it this year and hopefully we can do it uh, bigger and better next year so thank you everyone ontario mutuals royal agricultural winter fair uh thanks to everyone uh for for making go for the gold what it was this year so and thanks to you too catherine no hey, great problem. job catherine thanks, uh, ha have a great day everybody Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Catherine. Have a great day.